Chris Atkinson here from the Monster World Rally team and uh, we've been invited down by Monster Energy Australia to uh, have a go in a sprint car. Basically the idea was uh, Monster Energy Australia sorted out for me, Jamie Wincup and Mick Dillon to come down and have a go in a sprint car and, and uh, all from different disciplines, Jamie's supercar, Mick obviously five times world MotoGP champion and uh, I'm from Rally. We did it in style, like true, true monster fashion and uh, come down in, uh, in Mick's jet. daunting whether or not to, to give it a crack at my age, you know, so I've been out racing for about 12 years, but I thought why not give it a crack. It won't be hard to drive whether you go slow or, you know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah. I've been racing uh, sprint cars professionally for 14 years. Um, I'm from Indiana in America. I've been blessed to be able to come over here to Australia for the last eight years and this is my first year to, to be with the Monster Team. You know, today we experienced all them guys showing up and, and experiencing, you know, what I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. A sprint car is, is a pretty wild beast. Um, we got two wings. The top wing is actually a, an upside down airplane wing. We got 860 horsepower underneath the hood. It's a small block Chevrolet all aluminum fuel injected motor. It runs off of alcohol, pure alcohol uh, fuel and they don't weigh much either so you gotta throw that into the equation. I'm guessing they uh, probably do like up to 160k an hour but as you can hear they get there pretty quick and, um, and it's just constant. They say to stay on the gas, don't back off, you'll be over the fence. The track was pretty pretty slick actually and uh, and quite rough. Even the uh, the boys that do it all the time are saying hey it's uh, it's tough conditions out there. Most of the time when you come to Warrnambool it's a little smoother than it was today. The amount of rain that they had last night and then the little bit that we got today um, definitely made a difference in the track prep. Mick's going to show us how, to, how it's done. Echo and I will follow it up. He's the expert in this Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's been talking it up all day. We, we, don't, we don't even know if the track's dry, so Mick's going to suss it out for us. <laughs> it's good how they send the bike guy out first, you know. <laughs> yeah, let's send the one out with the least amount of experience in this game. See what he thinks. Hear what I mean? run was just really having a bit of a feel for the car and a feel for the for the track and and not having been in one for a number of years I thought I'd better just go out and sort of uh, put my toe in the water so to speak. You know, it's just the old ticker. Yeah. <laughs> First go in it, but uh, I got an advantage over the other guys, Mick and Jamie. The fact that I race on gravel at least, but still, it's going to be a pretty exciting experience. They reckon hardly use a brake, and you got to stay on the throttle, stay on the throttle all the way through the corner, which is similar to rally. bouncing everywhere and sliding everywhere and you're trying to left foot brake and, and hold it on the line and it's slippery and then grippy and it's just more uh, messes with your head trying to take all the information in. Had arm pump after after five laps so uh, I need to harden up a bit to drive one of these things. Get a before and after. Get the before shot because I won't be this clean.
good now. <laughs> well, this is a story about one day. He's just a crazy motherfucker with his head in the sand. Chill, as in the air, it's where his brain should live. As far as the driving style goes, it's completely different to what I'm normally at in my bad supercar. So, yeah, everything is absolutely foreign. Early on, I, I clouded the wall. Quite a decent hit, actually. Um, smacked my knee against the steering column. Just went against everything I know, you know, when, when I get it a little bit wide or get into trouble, my muscle memory says get off the gas, but that's the worst thing you can do. I got off the gas and the left rear tyre squatted and fired me straight up into the fence. So that was good fun, lucky no damage and we were, uh, were able to, to uh, continue the day. Jamie did get into the wall a couple times, but that's part of it. To control this type of race car under under load, under speed, is, is difficult to do. They looked about the same as me, basically, like a fish out of water, really. You know, we all did the same thing. We kept winding up towards the last run. No, I've never done anything like this. Obviously, rallying, at least, is on dirt, but this is so unique and so different. The cars, the speed you can get up to around a short track, and you're never off the throttle. You're sliding all the time. When you're in the car, you feel like you're going 10 times quicker than you probably are. You know, I'm sure we would have kept going quicker and quicker and quicker, but at some point in time you're going to make a mistake, and I was happy to take the helmet off before that happened. Each driver that got into it, from the first time they got in it to the last time, I think they definitely improved. I, I think Mick impressed me the most. Uh, he did really well. He was probably the first guy that actually got up to a little bit of speed, so... I'd say, uh, say Mick definitely earned that title today. It was good, you know, three guys, even though I'm retired, but uh, three guys from three different disciplines of motorsport and just out having a good time. Awesome experience and can't thank the guys enough from the team and, and Monster Energy for sorting out one of the best days of my life. Fantastic day. Thankfully the weather held out for us and uh, an experience I'll have for a long, long time. All three of the guys were extremely nice, uh, very grateful for the opportunity and, and uh, just really cool to to have him come out here and, and experience the day with him. Yeah, heading off home, we'll head out to the, to the plane and straight back to Cooley. Looking forward to getting home.